what is up youtube it is tati here and i am back with another youtube video and in today's video guys we are going to be doing some large knotless box braids now this style will be perfect for you if you do not like sitting in a chair for a really long time and you just want something quick and easy then girlfriend this is the style for you so i just did my normal routine of parting from the top of the left ear to the top of the right ear i'm actually using the red shining gem today i don't know who is by i forgot i know it's a black lady on the front of the label but i honestly actually really like this product it was a really good hold but it's definitely not my go-to the product is very very expensive and um yeah i I, I'm better off with the with the orange shining gem anyway, so definitely yes. I recommend the product for sure, but if you want to stay on the cheaper side, then baby, just stick with your regular shining gem. <laughs> just make sure it's a good hold and sleeks your client's hair down, especially for large knotless because more of the natural hair is exposed so yeah really the number one key to getting the perfect large knotless box braids is to make sure that the hair is as sleek as possible you also want to make sure you're pulling a little tighter as well and this is just for the longevity of the style and yeah as you can see right here i'm just braiding my knotless box braid like so if you would like a more in-depth tutorial on how i do my knotless braids make sure you go check out this video right here on the info box to be honest guys your large knotless braids can last you for a while i'll give it like six weeks and it'll last you even longer if you get a touch up so yeah and i do recommend that you guys come with your hair flat not flatter but blow dried and blow dried as straight as possible and i know there's a lot of controversy when it comes to this but honestly there's a lot of benefits for um coming with your hair blow dried straight one is that it makes the process go by much faster, but also the more your hair is not as detangled, the more product we'll have to use. And of course, the more product we use, the more buildup it leads to whenever, you're take down, whenever you take down your hair. So honestly, just keep that in mind whenever you guys come um, without your hair being blow dried or not even, it doesn't even have to be blow dried, just detangled as much as possible. But for large knotless box braids or jumbo knotless box braids or just jumbo big braids in general, you definitely want to come with your hair blow dried straight just so that it'll last longer and um, you can get that sleekness and flatness. So yes. Now, for those of y'all who want the specific details, because I'm one of them, um, if I can give a, a specific guesstimate of how many braids she had in her head, I will go with about 38 braids that I did, but I'm not really quite sure, um, but definitely around that number. All right, guys, so this is how I parted her hair at the top part. I definitely like to pre-part this area and make sure I have the parts in line because it definitely helps me with getting the parts even as possible. If you guys would like to know my parting routine, make sure you guys go check this video out on the info box. But um, yeah, I'm just pre-parting the front part of her head and that's just going to, that's going to guide me for the rest of her entire head but um yeah for her edges i did do the swoop edges those kind of swoop look and um i actually use this edge control called ed the edge effect and i really like this edge control y'all it definitely holds a pretty good hold it leaves a little bit of white residue but i noticed that when i spray 
like got to be spray or like some type of spritz it'll take that away and it'll definitely leave your edges laid and slayed and yeah like i said before just for the longevity of the style you definitely want to make sure that you are pulling um the hair and you don't want to pull it too tight you don't want to make your client feel like you got to pop an advil after doing her hair but definitely pull it to where it is secure and that um it'll last um long because these are large knotless braids but yeah guys that is pretty much all for this youtube video thank you guys so much for tuning in i hope you learned something from it make sure you give this video a thumbs up a like comment and subscribe to my channel i will put all of the products that i use in the description box below and um yeah i will see you guys in my next youtube video I'm gonna give him the talk to the free I'm in the lies, I know some of us are nigga nice